Glamlight has left Coca-Cola in the dust and they're already on to their spooky season launches. We also have ColourPop collaborating with Bratz. Who knows what's gonna happen next? It's time for new makeup releases. Let's get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Every Tuesday I come to you bearing makeup news and makeup releases, sneak peeks, all of the things. So if that sounds good to you, highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, I'm so excited. It's episode 38 and we're doing a late night filming session, but I'm so excited because I just tried a new palette that hasn't been announced yet and it's so beautiful and I am amped up. Now a palette I can talk to you guys about is this one from Nomad Cosmetics. I did post two looks on Saturday. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Chicago Speak Easy palette and it's available already. It launched last night so I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you guys are interested. But this palette is so pretty. Honestly, at first I was very unsure. I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this palette. But the more I've played with it, I've had a lot of fun with it. And it's honestly a very easy to navigate palette. So if you're kind of freaked out by all the deep jewel tone palettes that have been coming out, nothing wrong with those. I love those as well. But if you're kind of like just trying to dip your toe into the indie pool, then check this one out. I am really enjoying this palette and I can't wait to create even more with this. The packaging, 10 out of 10. Nomad, you've done it again. So very, very excited about this. I do have an affiliate code with them. It's KH Makeup if you want to save on the Nomad Cosmetics website. And anytime I have a code or a link or anything, I'll put it down below for you guys. I do make a commission on my links and codes and I am super appreciative of you guys supporting my channel. Of course, if you don't want to use my codes, that's totally fine too. Just want to say thank you. And also, if you haven't entered, I do have a monthly giveaway every month. It's always linked in the description box. So if you haven't entered for the month of October, highly encourage you to go ahead and do so. Okay, okay I think that's everything that's new that I have with me that's like indie related. I did buy, I caved, I bought the Stranger Things palette. I couldn't help myself. It was available at my local store and I was like, let me just treat myself. So I did buy that. Other than that, I've been really good. So let me slide on over so we can look at some pictures and talk about all the new makeup. Okay, so I can't remember if Glamlight had shown the full Coca-Cola launch when we filmed the episode, episode 37. So I'm just gonna go over it again, but I was going back and forth in my head of if I wanted to buy this collection or not. I am a Glamlight affiliate, but they don't send me PR, and so usually I'm buying everything. And I wanted to, but I also really have been trying to save up. And I told myself, because I have to practice being picky too. Like I don't get everything sent to me. I spend a lot of money buying makeup, trying things out. So I have to practice like some level of self-control and also manage like my other expenses. So for example, I subscribed to HelloFresh the last week or so because I'm honestly so sick of like cooking and trying to like meal plan. And honestly, I don't do a lot of the cooking. My partner does, but both of us are like so tired of trying to come up with new meals to provide for each other and our kids. So I thought HelloFresh might be fun. And it's honestly been really fun. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I wanted to tell you guys, especially if you are like moms and you're struggling, it's so nice. And they have like a free thing that I got. So I get to pick out like an extra meal and I've been picking the kids meals and that's been really fun too. So we had like little sliders the other day not that they ate them but my husband thoroughly enjoyed and it came with like a fresh orange and I really like so many things about HelloFresh including the fact that it really reduces waste because if you've ever dealt with a picky toddler like you're basically throwing away half of the meal more than half the meal half the time and it's such a waste so it's nice that everything's like portioned out so I don't know long story about nothing maybe for you guys but that's about 50 bucks and every week coming out of my account so I have to budget for it and so I've been trying to buy less makeup and I'm also trying to save up for Vegas and Vegas is super expensive. The flights are like $500 for December so I'm just trying to tell you guys like everybody's got bills and so 
I'm just trying to give you some perspective of where I'm coming from when I am trying to say I'm trying to save. And I also was telling some of you in the comments of the community tab post I did for this collection that I still have not used my Danessa Myricks Lightworks 6 palette. I think it's a 6 one and I'm so mad at myself because that palette is one of the most expensive palettes in my collection. And the fact that I haven't made time to use it is kind of criminal, but I've also been choosing other things over makeup, like prioritizing family time. And especially on the weekends, I don't really want to be filming unless I super duper have to. So yeah, I've got like a whole list of reasons as to why I haven't been buying makeup or I'm trying to buy less makeup, even though it's honestly not working well at all. Like I'm sitting here sharing with you guys so that you don't feel super bad or down on yourself if you're also struggling to curb your expenses. But maybe you can find some comfort in this video knowing that you're not the only one. So all of that to say, I was contemplating this collection and ultimately I did decide to skip it because I just didn't feel like I needed any of this bad enough. Like I love Coke. I've done the blind taste test of Coke versus Pepsi. I thought I could get on board with Pepsi because I believe Pepsi is an Indian product and I'm from South Asia. Like I wanna support my fellow, you know, continental businesses, but I just feel like Coke is superior in my mind. So I've given up on trying to drink Pepsi. I'll drink Pepsi if there's no other option, but if Coke is an option, I'm always gonna pick Coke first. Anyways, you guys debate down below. I'm so curious to know, can you tell the difference? Because before I did the blind taste test, I would have sworn up and down that I could tell the difference. But when you're not sure of what you're drinking, it's a game changer, you guys. I could not tell the difference, but in my mind, Coke is better. Okay, so anyways, we have this collection. It's wonderful. I love soda. It's my only beverage that I usually drink. I mean, I'll drink alcohol, but... I love drinking Coke. So they did a bunch of stuff. We have two little mini palettes. They also did two lip gloss sets and then we have a highlighter. And this collection was quite affordable. I think you could buy the whole PR set for under $100, which I don't think is terrible, but a lot of you pointed out, and I do agree, that we've seen this color story from Glamlight before, so I just couldn't justify buying it. So if you wanted to buy the box, it's 118 and then without the box it's 89 which I like that they give you the option to not buy the box because maybe some of you don't want a giant box in your makeup room. The highlighter is $14. It did look like a duochrome highlighter. It had like a pinky shift to it but it's so icy I wasn't really interested. And then the Coca-Cola and Glamlight original palette is kind of reds and then some silvery gray tones for like the can and it's a cute color story I just don't need it kind of reminds me of the melt and Beetlejuice collection I have that palette still and then the cherry palette is cute but I have these reds in the Betty Boop palette and I'm sure there's other red palettes from Glamlight that I have in my collection that I probably don't even remember both palettes retail for $22 each then we have the Coca-Cola and Glamlight Cherry Lip Gloss Set and the original lip gloss set. Again, we've got like a dark shade, a neutral shade, and then like a mid-tone shade for both of them. They look very cute, but I just couldn't justify it. The packaging is super cute in the lip gloss set. It looks like a can. Both of those retail for 20 bucks. So overall, I think the pricing, they always get right. It's very much in a kind of affordable category. But I just, even though it's like 89 bucks for a whole collection for me to review, I just couldn't justify it. So I did pass and I don't know. I, I don't feel like I regret it. I'm going to be okay. I feel okay about it. The only thing I feel bad about is that like I want to review it because I'm affiliated with the brand. I can't keep buying everything. So on the heels of all of that, because I feel like they definitely have been quite vocal, quite clear, allegedly that the relationship with Coca-Cola was not the best. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious from the way they bounced into their Michael Myers collection. So it says, introducing the world's first officially licensed Michael Myers collection. Here is our Halloween 2 highlighter. This highlighter is a killer creation bought to life by you, our customers. After a series of polls, Michael has chosen to combine the two most requested shades 
into one stunning perfect peach iridescent glow. That's so promising because I don't think they've done a peach highlighter I want to say ever <laughs> and that's $18. And I wonder when it's gonna drop. Let's see. But it looks cute. I'm about a peach highlighter. I will say I'm not all for the horror collabs. Like I don't really need Michael Myers staring at me at any time, but I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. And then we have the Hand and Feel palette. Comes encased in a custom luxury collector's box. Featuring 3D cutouts of the horror icon himself with cult classic imagery and quotes from Halloween too. So that's exciting. The palette, honestly, I think is so fun. I'm so excited that they finally did a different color story. I will say it reminds me a little bit of their Frosted Flakes palette, but they did like a cool tone version of it. But I'm happy. I'm honestly happy that we're not getting a red palette, a rainbow palette, cool tone, grungy, dual tone shades. I feel like that's all they did last year for Halloween. So I'm excited. This is a fun change. It's like half neutral cool tone, half blue palette, and it's cute. I think I might get it. I'm not jazzed about having Michael Myers staring at me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm down in the basement. It's kind of tripping me up. So I'm gonna X out of this. I don't know how much more they'll do. I have a feeling they'll do a lip product and I think they were trying to decide between some mirrors. So we're either gonna get a knife mirror or like, a, I can't remember, I just remember the knife. And I'm like, that seems impractical because it was like a really skinny mirror. I don't know how that will work, but it would probably make a really cute collector's item. So there's that. But yeah, overall, you know, I'm very happy for Glamlight. They are a Latina-owned brand, and their owner seems really cool. I've never met her, but she seems very sweet and happy for their success. So that was the big, big launch that I wanted to chat about today. And then we have ColourPop all of a sudden. I feel like they were so quiet, but they were probably just working on these IPs. So they started sneak peeking their latest collab, which is with Bratz. Now, I was a generation older than Brax, so I think I was like a Barbie, clearly. I was a Barbie girl, but I never got into Brax dolls, but I'm sure people are like freaking out about this. So they started sneak peeking the collection, and basically it looks like we have four lip sets. So there's Chloe, Yasmin, Sasha, and Jade. And if any of you identify with any of these dolls, please let me know. Are you a Yasmin, a Chloe? a Sasha or a Jade, that would be cute. And then we have the palette. Honestly, you guys know the shade Jade, like if you put a teal green, matte or metallic in a palette, you're gonna have my attention. I think the palette is so cute. I really like the color story. I did buy the Stranger Things palette. I could see myself buying this one too. So this whole collection is dropping on October 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And it's basically 15 shades of 2000s inspired hues all in one palette. So I'm excited about the palette. As far as the lip products go, it says the four lippy kits named after each doll's nickname. Angel, be like Chloe with this bronzy chocolate lip combo. Cool Cat gets Jade's pout with the red wine lip combo. Bunny Boo, a pink lip combo for lips like Sasha's. Pretty Princess, channel your inner Yasmin with this plummy brown lip combo. So it looks really cute. I don't know if they're gonna launch anything else with that or if it's just the palette and the four lip kits. Either way, very excited to see ColourPop collabing with another IP. Okay, the other launch I wanna talk about is Wicked Widow Beauty. I haven't heard, I don't think I'm getting this in PR, but I just wanted to talk about it because I really like how cohesive this is. So they're doing sneak peeks and so far we've seen the four new bullet lipsticks and these are the moisturizing matte formula including Tales of Terror, a haunting launch. So Mortal is a refreshing cool tone purple, Woodlands is a rich deep frost green, Cursed is a gritty slime inspired green and then Pumpkin Guts is a lively vibrant orange. I think these shades are so beautiful. I love the colors. And then we have some blushes. So this is the new cream blush. We've got one shade called Stone, which is a purple hue. And then we have a new highlighter. And this is a reflect of yellow and white. So it looks really cute in the pan. 
and I'm guessing the palette reveal is coming next so probably after this video goes up they'll post the palette but overall I'm really liking what I'm seeing with the colors and it looks very spooky so I'm about that life. Oh my gosh, the other thing that happened this weekend is Blend Bunny announced their next collaborator and I'm so excited. So they are collabing with Robert Welsh and if you don't follow his channel, he is pretty amazing. I don't really know what else to say. I love his sense of humor and I just love the vibes. I love the vibes. I was watching I think a interview that he did with the owner of Naturium. I think she has a podcast and him and his twin were on there and I've just been watching him for so long and this is just like so iconic for both of them and then I saw they said Jordan Liberty did the makeup for the campaign like how freaking cool is that like these indie brands are on fire. This is the eye look I've seen so far. It's gorgeous. The model is gorgeous. And I don't know anything else. I haven't seen any shipping or anything. I don't know. Typically, I do get Blend Bunny PR, but I'm just so excited for them. And this is just iconic. I'm so excited to see this palette. I'm guessing it's a palette. I mean, the eyeshadow is like, can be a mistake, right? So super duper pumped for Robert Welsh and Blend Bunny. That is so exciting. Congratulations. Okay, next we have from Lethal. They said, to celebrate the huge success of our avatar, the last Airbender collab, we're bringing you an exciting surprise with our upcoming restock. I'll have to take a peek at their YouTube channel. They usually post all of their reveals on there, so definitely head there if you're curious. We also have a new product from Ellis Brooklyn. They're launching the Vanilla Milk Shimmering Scented Body Oil for $70. Get ready for glamour. Meet our new vanilla milk shimmering scented body oil with a quick absorbing oil formula and flattering champagne shimmer. I feel like it's so odd when brands launch shimmering body oils in the fall. Doesn't seem like the right time, but hey, what do I know, right? Okay, so in case you don't know, RMS is now available on the Ulta Beauty website, and I really love RMS. I haven't tried a ton of their stuff, but I do have their highlighter as well as a lot of their powder blushes. And I just finally bought their bronzer. I've been trying to find it, but it's usually out of stock. And so it was finally available on Ulta, so I did grab that. And then they also launched an exclusive to Ulta product, I believe. So this is their new legendary lip oil, and I wanted to get one, but again, I was like, okay, do you actually need a lip oil? Like, I'm trying to reorganize my lipstick drawer right now. I have a few spread out through my room, but I have one, like, main one, and it's such a disaster. I did declutter quite a lot of lip products last year, but I'm so lucky I've gotten more lip products in PR, and I'm so thankful. But I just need to, like, organize them a little better so I can rotate through them a little bit quicker. None of this is your concern or problem, but I just wanted to say I talked myself out of buying one of these. But these are so cute. I love the packaging. So it says these are plush and ultra nourishing legendary lip oils delivering alluring color and high shine. Never sticky, always legendary. And the shades look beautiful. These are $25 each and I will link them down below in case you're interested in checking them out. Okay, we have a little sneak peek from Unearthly and it says just a taste color palette. I wonder if this is going to be the holiday launch either which way. My eyes are peeled to see what Unearthly is coming out with next. Okay, we have a gift set from House Labs. This is the PhD Hybrid Pumping Lip Glaze Set, a limited edition ready to gift set with hydrating four in one lip glaze in a full size exclusive shimmery neutral and a mini best selling shade. I will say, I didn't really get the hype with these lip glazers from. House Labs, so this set is an easy pass for me. I did create a little list of holiday releases that I kind of had my eye on. So if you guys are interested, that'll be linked down below. I just created that for funsies and just because there's so many launches, so I thought it would be fun to have like one place where I could like refer you guys to on all the new things that I'm seeing or things that I'm potentially interested in. Hopefully that's helpful to y'all. Okay, so One Size announced that they are doing a jumbo on Till Dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. 
I do have the setting spray. It's actually right here on my desk. I think it's really nice and I know a lot of people love it, especially people with oily skin. They say it's like hairspray for your face. So I'm glad they made a big version <laughs> so that you can have all of your setting spray needs met. We also have Gisu's new Honey Infused Hydrating Lip Oil in the shade Cherry on the Cake. It's a sheer pinky red shimmer and it's new and limited edition. I think this color was shown quite a few months ago, but now it's available on Sephora.com if you want to pick it up. Okay, so here's another product that I was like painfully wondering if I should get or if I should pass and I just had to say no because beauty based shipping is just painfully slow for some reason. I see people getting these palettes a week after launch and then mine takes like a month to get to me and that's what I've noticed whether I pay for expedited shipping or I just go with regular free shipping on the beauty base site. So I decided to say no even though I collect beauty bay palettes and I'll probably regret it once I see people's videos but they came out with their holiday collection so we've got the Celestial Charms 20 color palette and it's so beautiful, so grungy, some beautiful berries, some beautiful blues. I will say this color story is gorgeous. I just told myself I have so many palettes like this so I tried really really hard to talk my way out of it. It says this Celestial Charms color palette explores a galaxy of 20 shades including vibrant purples, glimmering golds and dazzling teals. All of my favorite kind of colors and this palette is $20. They also did a all shimmer palette called the Mini Charms 9 color palette. It says go beyond with our first ever full shimmer palette packed with nine constellation inspired shades. That was $13 so yeah I was literally drooling trying to think of ways to justify it but I just couldn't. I just couldn't spend the money and have to wait and then watch everybody else post a video and then finally get mine up and have nobody watch it. So decided to save the money, will probably regret it, but you guys do me a favor and just make me feel better about <laughs> not spending money. Please, I beg. Okay, I have so many good things to talk about, but let's take a second to just roast the holiday releases from Laura Geller. Oh my gosh, these palettes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, please do yourself a favor and don't buy these palettes. Just buy like the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette if you want a good neutral palette, please, I beg. Okay, this was another thing that got me on Friday and I just couldn't do it because it's so expensive. It's not. It's just that if I bought the Coca-Cola collection, if I bought the Beauty Bay collection, and if I bought this palette, I would have easily spent over $100 and I just couldn't do it because I don't have that much money in my YouTube fund. Okay, so anyway, this is the new launch from Jolie Beauty. So we have the Spellbound palette, which is $57. We'll try and pick this one up on a sale or when they do free shipping or something. I did that with some of their other palettes, which, spoiler alert, their last two palettes that I ordered, I still haven't used. I literally looked at them this weekend because I was like, do I have that palette? Like, that's how bad it is. Like, I needed to confirm whether I had a palette from them because I've never used it. Okay, so like, how can I make it more clear? I don't need to buy any more eyeshadow palettes even though I still keep buying them. Like, actually ridiculous. Somebody please, somebody please hold me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding okay so this is the Spellbound palette I love this it's grungy it's blues it's greens it's cool tones I have a million palettes like this I don't need them but it's so pretty and I love collecting her palettes we also have the Moonchild highlighter palette for 29 I can totally skip that we've got two magic metallic liquid lipsticks in dark earthly and Spellbound sorry there's three of them and then we have lip glosses and hex potion and love potion and you can get the complete collection for $381. From the last update I saw their palette sold out but it looks like they do have a pre-order started. Either which way I just need to look away because I can't do it. I can't buy that palette. I need to wait. We have some new shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I do have the shade Parchment. I love it so much. I was looking through these shades because I was curious if there was any shades that I would want. But honestly, these are kind of cool tone and more berry. I mean, perfect for the holiday season. But 
I don't need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip, skip, skip. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much I look forward to the Sephora sales, and we have the holiday savings event, and it's gonna start on the 1st of November. On for Rouge, it's gonna go on till the 11th, and then for VIB, it's gonna start on the 5th. Same for Insiders, so Rouge is gonna get 20% off. You guys know me, I love, I love a good sale, and I love stocking up, so... I'm definitely gonna be working on all the things that I wanna grab. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. I would like to get some stuff started so I can like get some pre-filming done, but I'm so excited for the sale. It's always a good time. Okay, next we have the new Tree Hut collection for holiday. So there is a peppermint pearl scent and a enchanting emerald scent. Honestly, enchanting emerald sounds delicious. I am partial to green. I just feel like it automatically triggers like a fresh scent in my mind. So low key, I'm interested, but I did go to Ulta this weekend. I had like a minute to run over there and I was looking for this collection. It wasn't out at my local Ulta stores, but I don't really need a body wash right now or a body scrub or a lotion. So I'm probably gonna pass because I'm trying to use up more of the things I have. So. Yeah, I'm going to pass for now. We also have the Dolce & Gabbana, the Everlast Foundation, and it's available now. So this is a full coverage, flawless finish with 24-hour long wear and no transfer waterproof with SPF 20, designed with a skin-loving touch. $59, 40 shades. I haven't even really looked at where this is available. The price isn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. The shades look decent so i'll have to go search down a rabbit hole and find these foundations and i will try and remember to link them down below we have the bottega veneta fragrance launch so this collection includes five fragrances utilizes 100 percent natural original essence and were developed in collaboration with caring beauties perfumers the rippling bottle design is meant to provide a smooth, sensual feel. Honestly, I don't know anything about these fragrances, nor am I going to go buy them because they're like $450. But I do love Bottega, and if I was in that tax bracket, you best believe I would have all the bags, all the bags, all the shoes. I love their stuff. It's so quirky and interesting, and I love the colors. Just, you know champagne dreams on a beer budget i think is what they say here in the midwest at least okay we've got the hourglass of barney's collaboration palettes i swear people online are like losing their shit over these palettes and i personally don't get it i like the lotus flower packaging like the palette that i got from the holiday collection but the barney's drop like the packaging isn't that cute it's literally like gold packaging with like a few like clip arts on there. I mean, I'm sure there's like a lot of thought put into each thing they pick, but I just don't get it. Like they're so expensive. They're exclusive, I think, to that location. They did launch online, so maybe you can get them online now. I don't even get it. I don't get it. Please feel free to explain it to me if you so desire, but I just don't get it. Why are we all breaking our backs to buy these Barney's Hourglass palettes? Like, I love Hourglass just as much as the next person, but I just don't get it. That's all I gotta say about it. Okay, friends, that is it for episode 38 of New Makeup Releases. I am so excited to post this video because I feel like there's so many exciting launches. So definitely share your opinions on what you think of these new releases. Let me know if you picked up any of the ones we chatted about today. I just wanna quickly remind you guys to enter my monthly giveaway. It's just a small way for me to say thank you for all your support. I will try and link as many products as I can down below for you guys. If you ever use my links or codes to shop, just know that I'm super appreciative. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye friends.